It's a returning champion, Elgin Tensity, aka Trap Butte Gilliman, Primarch of the Swole Marines. Like many parents, a Laurel County mother was reviewing her daughter's worksheets, and that's when she saw something that startled her. The assignment asked students to label what fat is, and now she's taken to social media to address her concerns. LEX 18's Eleanor Buckley has the big story at six. Move over, dodgeball. There's an even more oppressive scholastic tyrant to whine about on the news. First grade reading homework. If a gym class team sport is the Death Star, then an elementary school workbook is the star killer. Let's hear more from the ham planet that's been devastated by it. As a mother of a first grader, Laura Lewis often finds herself reviewing her daughter's assignments. Speaking of matching words and images, there's no dad in this picture. Considering the loon who runs that household, I hope he's still at the corner store getting cigarettes. I got her photo out to see what all she had in it. That's when she stumbled on this paper, asking students to identify what objects were. Assuming that girl doesn't wind up getting homeschooled by her dunce mother, she has a promising career designing vehicles for Elon Musk. Most ask students to do things like circle a cat or identify a dish. How redundant. But the last question showed a picture of two girls, and students had to decide which one was fat. I thought to myself, they're going to look at it and then look over at my daughter and say, ha ha, you're this little girl, you're fat. And I don't want that. I don't want her to have to deal with that. Which implies that she doesn't deal with that. If they haven't roasted her by now, then this assignment won't set them off. First graders don't need to hear specific words before going on a rampage. They're ankle biters, not winter soldiers. I don't want her to have to do like what I had to deal with, because it really hurts. The picture brought back painful memories for Laura. She says she was bullied over her weight. So much for the slimming effect of vertical stripes. The real big story is that bigger red has a scale in the background when obesity brings up bad memories. What isn't newsworthy is the fact that the scale reads over 300. As a kid, and doesn't like the message it sends to children. So she took to Facebook to address her concerns. That post now has over 1,000 shares. If only she could grasp subject-verb agreement, spelling, punctuation, and other writing fundamentals, as well as she grasps drumsticks. Until then, she's in no position to criticize an English program. And I had to explain to her that it was body shaming. Even if it was a skinny girl, or the example for skinny, I feel like that would still be body shaming that person because some people don't want to be called that. By her logic, the school should stop asking students which one's the she because it shames trans people, or which one's the shack because it shames YouTubers who can't hit a million views a month anymore and have to downsize. Laura says she hopes the picture will be updated for future students to show something other than a person. In Laurel County, Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News. We reached out to Laurel County Schools for comment about the picture and they sent us this statement saying, quote, we have not had any parent report this concern to us. However, we are reviewing the curriculum to identify the concern. I'm sure they wrote that email in Comic Sans, just like the sign out front, so I wouldn't take that investigation seriously. Her home state has the third highest rate of childhood obesity in the U.S., so she's highlighting the wrong issues. The long-term complications of being too fat are much worse than the temporary sting of resembling the little chungus in your workbook. Obese children tend to become obese adults, so you can either learn your lesson early on or ignore it long enough until it disappears, right along with you. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel, now.